Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome if you're new here. My name's Jordan, and today I have another video for you for Not His Home. Uh, today is going to be another exploration scenario. We're going to be doing leaving San Francisco in the dark during this one. Uh, it does say that it's going to take, it's, it's an estimated time of one hour. So we'll see how long it takes. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get the game on the screen and let's get into it. All right, so here we go. I've got the game on the screen and we've got the mission briefing up, uh, leaving San Francisco in the dark. You start in the o Oakland Inner Harbor and are headed for the Pacific Ocean. You follow the fairway and cross below the bridges over the bay. It's quite dark, so keep an eye on the lights of the ships around you. Uh, we're actually going to be uh, in, in charge of the Cheviot Bandit in this one, which is a newer ship that was added to Not As Home. Uh, I believe it, it wasn't the last update, it might have been the one before that, um, but this is a roll-on roll-off car carrier. It's 200 meters long, 32 meters wide, and 49 meters high. Displacement, uh, 32,557 tons. Um, so as you can see on the map, we're going to be starting here, and we're going to be sailing out of this channel that we're in into the main harbor and then we're going to be sailing through uh, under the Golden Gate Bridge which is around here and out into sea so yeah that's what we're going to be doing from the looks of it it's very dark uh, what's the time right now it's 3 a.m. so it's it's very dark it might get lighter as we continue but it's very hard for me to, to see actually with all the bright lights in my studio here, but uh, we'll, we'll make the best of this. Ooh, can't even see the ship. <laughs> um, if you are interested in seeing this ship, uh, I did w when it was introduced. Um, yeah, when it was introduced, I did do kind of like a, like a, you know, look at all the different cameras and looking around the ship and really took the time to look at it. So if you're interested in seeing that, uh, be sure to go to that update video. Uh, you'll see the ship in the thumbnail. It's like a it's a green ship, um, in case you're interested. And maybe I'll link it at the top in this one. So if you're interested. Um, but let me get the instruments on the screen here. There we go. I've got the ship uh, starting forward now. Uh, we're doing 1.5 knots. Uh, let me look at the chart and make sure. So I don't see any signals to be aware of here. Uh, I don't see any signals, but we're going to be sailing out. I'm going to try and avoid this this uh, shallows here. And we're going to keep going out into the main harbor here. Um, and just sail right out. So it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll, we'll see how, how this goes. Looks like it's overcast as well in this scenario. Uh, I am seeing lights nearby. It looks like it's a buoy of some sort, maybe. Is that a buoy? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Oh, it's a little sailboat in the dark. At least we can see their mast light, because otherwise I wouldn't have seen them. Yeah, you can't see much in this one. <laughs> it's so dark, um, even here in the bridge view. I mean, that's normal in, on the ships, right? They, they keep a dark bridge so that they don't have any interference. Uh, but in this ship, the bridge is up here, I believe, on the bow of the ship. Uh, yeah, you can't really make out much, but there is like a, a ramp here. Uh, I believe there's another ramp on this side. Um, there's not much to see with this ship. It's just like a big uh, green hall. So I can see another ship docked there. There's another boat over there. Um, we can actually see the Golden Gate Bridge in the distance, which is pretty cool. At least I'm assuming that's the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just proceeding slowly right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and increase the, the thrust of the ship. Uh, maybe we'll go up to, let's say 70%. I mean, it's 71%, but 70% should be a good start. Um, 
I may increase that further as well. I find it odd though. Uh, the sun seems to be on this horizon. That would be the west. Shouldn't it be coming from this horizon on the east side? If it's rising? I, 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 this is just a thought because this is looking west. I'm pretty sure this is looking west. Yeah, there's the compass. Or, I mean, you guys can't see my mouse, but um, the compass is there and it says west. Actually, I wonder if I can change this. Capture cursor. I always try and point at things on the instruments and you guys can't see my mouse, but here's where it says west. Alright, we're kind of swinging to the starboard side of this, uh, sorry, the, we're, we're, we're swinging port side to this channel, so I'm going to try and turn us starboard uh, to get us back on track here. But there is a boat coming up the channel as well, which I'm a bit concerned about. I can see their lights in the distance. That's that's a good thing about this scenario. They actually put the detail in to make sure that the lights are visible. Like you can you can see them, and there, there's no confusion, right? Like I can clearly see that that's a, a boat coming my way. Um, let me go ahead and increase the thrust to 100%, and I'm gonna start getting this turn going. I'm used to, I, I was playing a, a little bit more of the uh, the Coast Guard Clipper ship. And that thing, it's so nimble, it turns so so quickly, it goes so fast. I really enjoy playing that, that ship, um, but it's got me a little bit spoiled. Because now when I get into these slower, uh, harder to maneuver ships, <laughs> It feels slow. Uh, I hope we can get out of the way of this boat here soon. Let me deepen this turn. Get the stern away from it. I'm not even sure what ship that is. Uh, it looks like a tugboat. I think I overdid the turn. Pretty sure the wind, the wind is coming from this direction, so it's going across right now. So it's kind of pushing me into this ship. So I'm gonna try and keep a little bit of a distance there um, by keeping the wheel turned a little bit to the port side.
<laughs> the stern is like it's like drifting into the into the side there. Is there a current as well? Oh, there's a little bit of a current too. That's not helping. We should be fine though. Okay, so I'm seeing some buoys that are flashing red over on, on the starboard side, or sorry, the port side. I keep mixing up my sides today. Uh, but yeah, we can see the red buoys. Uh, I think I'm just going to kind of follow along with the red buoys, uh, staying to the, to the right of them, uh, because they are marking the safe route. Um, there is some buoys on the right side as well. I do see some white flashing lights. Uh, I think these are like Actually, I have I have no indication of what those are on the map. Um, I think the best option for me though is just going to be follow these red buoys down, um, and then I see a green buoy in the distance. So I just need to be mindful because there is a bit of a shallows coming up as well. So I need to be mindful of where that's at and just uh, make sure that I'm not going to go into that area. Um, hopefully, we're going to steer. A little to the south of that and then out into the main channel from there. I'm gonna have to turn the ship a little bit to the starboard side now. Oh, there is a bigger ship right here. Looks like a tanker or a container ship, I'm not sure which. Okay, it is sailing into our path though, so I think I'm gonna cut the engine back a bit to slow our speed down uh, and just figure out where that's going and then proceed. I'm at the part where I can turn a little bit to the left uh, port side so I'm basically going to be following these buoys. Now I'm going a lot quicker than this ship so I think I'm going to keep my speed up and keep going. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a, a hazard for me. Um, I don't think this is the Golden Gate Bridge. I think this is a different bridge as well. I did incor incorrectly say it was the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, but we're not there yet, so It must be a different bridge now. It looks like another ship in the distance there uh, Let me see I can't tell if it's moving or if it's docked though. It's too dark um, But the good news is, is we should be able to make it out in front of this this ship. No problem It is moving, but it's going very slowly which I'm sure I'm sure that that's probably the recommended speed to be traveling through a harbor, but you know, we have places to go and people to see, so.
All right, so I'm aiming to go under the bridge over here. Uh, looks like that's going to be a safe spot to go. Uh, let me start straightening this up a little bit. Okay, so the, this is the next obstacle, this little island out there, um, which you can see here on the chart. So once we pass the bridge, that's the next thing I'm going to have to look out for. Uh, I'm going to start turning to the starboard side now. another ship here which uh, I wasn't sure if it was moving or not earlier I'm still not really sure what's what the deal is with that one but I'll keep an eye on it uh, it kind of looks like it's heading towards us though based off of those lights um, I'm guessing we're probably gonna be fine though yeah it's definitely sailing towards us uh, I don't think it's going very quick so we should be fine So I think the way that the traffic is meant to flow in the harbor here is uh, we're supposed to go forward and then this this symbol I believe is indicating for us to go up uh, to prefer this route so we're supposed to go up and around here at least that's my guess and then we would sail out from there so I'm gonna follow that route just because that's what the chart is spe specifying but um, as well, I, I could be wrong about this. <laughs> I could just be adding time. Uh, okay, I'm trying to use my binoculars, but I can't see. Sh I can't see anything. Um, but we've cleared this ship, so we're we're good. So I'm looking for the green and red buoy that's going to be to the east of the the island. Oh, I see the green one. I think I'm wrong. I think that's a different buoy. Uh, I think the one I'm looking for is over this way a bit more. I think it's there.
yeah I think I'm seeing the red one over here and the green one over here so I'm gonna I'm gonna aim for that and then we'll we'll do a turn uh, to the north side of this island and go through the other two buoys and then out the channel See another ship over here. I really wish they would have like simulated more of the lights for the the city and the buildings and stuff. Also, I mean, I know night lighting is coming for ships as well, um, but it would be nice to see some like porthole lights and and that sort of thing. Um, I know it's coming, but you know, I'm looking forward to it. I guess is what I'm saying. So. <laughs> But for now we get we get it we get some navigational lights. <laughs> it's not much, but it does the trick, I guess. That's the buoy we're looking for right there. I think I see the next one over here, uh, the red one, right there. There's the island still, and those white uh, flashes. Those are the danger buoys. I'm going to start doing the turn to port now. Uh, the buoy is right off of our port side. I'm looking for a red buoy. I think it's over here. I think it's this one.
Yeah, I think that green one is the other one, and then the red one's here. I'm just gonna do like a, a wide turn and then sail out from there. Uh, I just want to check something as well on the briefing. Uh, give me a second here. Okay, so we're not going too far out of the harbor. Uh, we're just going to that point right there. That's why I just wanted to check and that's going to be right around here. So yeah, it's pretty much just straight from from the point of leaving the harbor here. Uh, the island is here off to our port side now. see any other ships in the area. I think I can faintly make out the Golden Gate Bridge over here. It's really hard for me to see anything though. I think it's gotten darker actually, so maybe what we were seeing earlier was actually the sun setting, even though it's almost 4 a.m. according to the game time. But I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> There's no way it was uh, the sun rising, because that's the west. Alright, I'm going to deepen this turn a little bit more.
I don't really have any other buoys ahead of this one, so I do have the radar up, which I dragged over to the other screen, but I can drag back on. Because um, I don't normally display the radar, but uh, I am going to use the radar just to keep an eye ahead of us and make sure that we're not heading into any danger. So I'll just kind of stick this over here. I've got it set to 1.5 nautical miles, head up. Sorry, it's kind of glitching out. Uh, yeah, head up um, so then we can see what's ahead of us as we go forward. I think I'm going to have to make a slight adjustment and uh, turn a little bit more to the port side, but for now we should be fine and it looks like there's a ship in the distance. I think that's on the other side of the bridge from what I can see. I'm actually able to make out the bridge a little bit. Uh, I'm like squinting, trying to see. Um, there's one of the towers for the bridge. The other tower is there. Uh, so I'm gonna try and pass on under over on the starboard side here, as close as I can to that other pillar. But I do need to turn a bit more because I, I know I'm heading towards land. Uh, I can see it on the radar actually. So uh, let me turn the ship a bit more. So that we can clear that. I can probably switch this to three nautical miles so we can see a bit more. Oh, it's actually picking up the bridge. Yeah, actually, I, I'm good. My heading's fine. Uh, I'm not going to hit land. So I'll straighten out. I'm actually going to turn us back towards the uh, starboard side here. Um, I do see a ship in the distance that's concerning me a little bit. I don't know if it's a ship or if it's lights on the bridge, but I can see something right there. Looking at it in the binoculars, it looks like lights on the bridge. Oh yeah, when I zoom out, it, it definitely looks like some sort of light on the bridge, so uh, I don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to maintain the current heading. There we go, we can kind of see the bridge. I don't know if you guys can make it out on, on there. Yeah, it looks like you can see it too. See the tower there, the bridge, deck. Here comes the ship.
All right, so passing under this bridge means that we've left the harbor, so there's only so much further we have to go and then, uh, then we're gonna be finishing up. So uh, basically just waiting for the message to say that we've done it, uh, which, you know, the, the, the briefing says that we're ending around here, so uh, it's probably gonna be just a, a little while until we get there. Mm, shouldn't take too long though. I do have the ship turned a little bit to the starboard side uh, to kind of straighten us out. Although I probably don't need that. Let's let's straighten it out now. Uh, yeah, I'll just continue along. Uh, I will just set maybe I'll set the autopilot to the current heading, and that way we can make sure that we're continuing along in a straight line. Um, I don't think I have to be precise. I don't think that there's going to be like any sort of uh, indicator of where I need to stop or anything like that. I think it's just once I hit a certain point, it's going to finish it. Um, kind of like, I'm guessing it's going to be like the Rio de Janeiro departure scenario where we just kind of reach a certain point and it was like, oh, you're finished. Um, and it actually happened sooner than I expected, so it could be similar here too. Uh, but we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see where it, where it takes us. I guess I don't need the radar anymore, so I'll go ahead and hide that. I don't see any other ships in the area, so I think we're okay. Uh, there is a light over there, but I'm not sure. The flashing lights are different buoys and stuff, so I'm not really concerned about that, but uh, I'm not sure what this one is. And there's no way I'm there's no way I'm figuring it out from this. Way too dark. Our stern view looking back at the bridge. Definitely did get darker since I started the scenario because I remember I could tell it was this cloudy skies as well. I can't even see the sky anymore. Although it does kind of seem like it might be brightening up. I don't know. It might be getting brighter behind us. I'm not sure though. It is getting close to 4 a.m. on the clock, so I don't know what time it will actually begin to brighten again, but. Uh, I think what we were seeing earlier was definitely the sunset, and uh, now it's re it's very dark. <laughs> There's not really much to see at this point. I'm using the autopilot to turn the ship a little bit. Uh, I just want to turn like 10 degrees. Actually, I think that might be too much. Let me go with uh, 245, 245 degrees. I 
All right, we're, we're on course, heading to the, the end point. I'm gonna keep the mouse where the end point is. I believe it's built there. Alright, so we're still just cruising along. Uh, we're at 20 knots, which I believe is the max speed for the Chevy at Bandit. Um, yeah, we're, we're getting closer to the, the end point. Um, but yeah, I still got a little ways to go. take a quick look around and make sure we've got no ships sneaking up on us. No, it just looks like there's some buoy lights in the distance over here, uh, but nothing I have to worry about. I don't see any ships sailing at us.
I hope they fix this. The fact that um, the lights, when you get to a certain point, uh, they kind of disappear like this. I noticed it on the uh, on the um, the Coast Guard ship the uh, the other day when I was recording Coast Guard New York. getting very close to where it was indicated that the uh, end point would be. So there seems to be a shallow a shallow area outside of the harbor here. Um, I can see the buoys. So there's the red buoys on the on the left side, the the green buoys on the right side. Um, these are indicating the safe route uh, through the shallow area um, like to follow the deep the deep the deep exit of the harbor. So that's what I'm seeing ahead here. Um, but from from the briefing, it said it was gonna stop before we reach this point so we'll, we'll see I'm gonna keep going and we're, we're gonna see where it actually marks it as complete at Very interesting. It still hasn't marked it as complete. Let me uh, take another look at the briefing. Yeah, it said it was going to be much earlier than this. Mm. 
Like on that map, it's marked around here. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna see. Um, maybe it's a bug where they just, it's not marking it as complete, but. I don't know, we'll see. I'll sail, I'll continue sailing out because technically this is still part of the harbor exit, so once I pass this obstacle, then I'll see what happens. I'm inclined to believe that this is uh, just, there's a bug, and that's why I didn't say that we've completed it, but uh, again, I'm going to keep going, um, just until I don't see buoys anymore, and then once I've passed the final set of buoys, if it hasn't given it to me, I'll, I'll end it there. Um, just trying to figure out where the final buoy is, I think it might be here. There's another setup there.
Alright guys, I've definitely gone a lot further than what was indicated on the briefing. I still haven't seen a success message. Um, so I think I'm just going to post on the Not As Home form and let them know that the I didn't get um, I didn't get the message saying I completed this, although I believe I did. Uh, I did sail through the part that it said it, it indicated on the briefing. Um, that would be the finish line, but I didn't get, get anything. Uh, so we kept going, and uh, I still don't have anything. So uh, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, we've made it as far out of the harbor as can be. Uh, if I keep going straight, it's just open sea uh, to the end of the map. So. Uh, I don't really see any point in continuing forward because I can't really see anything anyways. So, uh, so yeah, that's it for me on this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to follow along with my Not As Home content, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you're notified when I do post new videos. But yeah, that's it for me on this one. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.